Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. And today we're going to be going over all the same old kind of same old places to be on the lookout for for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X restocks. Now, we have a little teensy tiny little bit more information when it comes to some stuff. We had a little bit more employees kind of reach out to go talk about some stuff. And at the end of the day, we're all kind of so closely watching a lot more of the same kind of same old, same old. We've been kind of on the awkward side, too. As I'm sure you guys probably know, we've kind of just been on a little bit of a dry streak going on. So if you guys have kind of seen some of the videos itself, you guys kind of know the rough idea concepts and all that stuff. But we have a little bit of new stuff we'll go and mention and talk about. And a little bit more of, I guess, an additional reminder for you guys to be on the lookout for as of today. So a little bit of few, I guess, like newer stuff to go talk about. So if, as well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room down below, the Weeble and Coinbase down below, and the Twitter giveaway down below and all the other good stuff too as well down below and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching let's go and dive into the video itself so first and foremost hello hello guys so uh one of the bigger things we want to keep on putting a little bit more extra attention on into is on the target playstation 5 side so the past few days you guys may have seen a few of our videos as we talked about it but target basically does have a lot and i mean a lot of stock that's been kind of free falling and free moving around when it comes on the stock and stock movement with it thankfully we've been watching the stock we've been seeing employees confirming some stock and some of the locations actually apparently have not still restocked so i'm gonna have this video video probably up at like seven so on that really rare case there's like an event drop although we don't think they're actually supposed to be doing them as of yet still we haven't had it confirmed be on the lookout especially as of right now kind of two major things we've been talking about number one is on the fact that we this is like our first kind of big i guess cycle of before like we'd usually be watching a target drop like in theory if we didn't have target kind of switch to in store and start selling stock in store you know how they've kind of been doing these past few weeks this would actually probably be a normal target drop or next week would be a proper normal target drop based on the trends based on the time based on the stock based on the stock arrivals and all of that so that's one of something you guys know there's that very, very small chance, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, that they could have an event proper drop. Now, I still kind of don't think so, mainly because as we've had other stores already in this past week, have stock and sell stock, and typically prior target drops had pretty much nationwide restocks all at the same time. So it is kind of unlikely. I'm not really expecting it. It's a very, very low chance of it. But that kind of goes into a part two where... If, like, obviously, if there's always that small baby chance for an event drop, part two is that we might actually see just a lot more stores getting stock. So we actually didn't really see that many targets actually restock yesterday. I was kind of looking through the trends, looking through bots, looking through, like, everything to see. And we, like I said, didn't really see too, too much. So today and tomorrow might be a nice big target focus uh, day when it comes to PlayStation 5 disc and digitals. Now, we, as usually kind of know, around, like, the 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. range, give or take. Like, around now, basically, it's worth checking the app and just kind of seeing if it updates or having it up in the background. Your side monitor or whatever it is. We've also been seeing some of them around like the more so same hours flipped. So think like 7 to 9 p.m. Those are like the two, I guess, ranges we've been seeing mostly as of these past few weeks. So when it comes to stock and stock movement with that, uh, all around, good stuff. So keep on checking. We have seen confirmations. We have had employee stuff. We've had warehouses and everything else. So we know stock is kind of free moving and free kind of grooving all around. So keep on being the lookout for it in case you guys uh, want to be on the lookout for it. So all around, good stuff. Target should be part of our big focus throughout these next few days. And as always, it is more on the regional slash store side. So that's why I always kind of like kind of stink when it comes to all these restock updates nowadays because we're still waiting for the next big confirm stuff and next big confirm drop. So just keep that in mind. We have a lot more stock a lot more movement if we see more information we'll let you guys know throughout the day so just as always make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys would like to now xboxes too we haven't really been seeing as many xboxes floating around for targets they have been slowly coming into stock uh same with the best buy side although nothing super crazy and big so let's keep that in mind now best buy we still have not seen a proper best buy drop so we've kind of just been this awkward waiting ground i'm sure you guys don't like it either i don't like it myself but basically best buy itself we've been watching so at any point, we do know that some Best Buy stores, once again, same with Target, are sitting on some stock, confirmed by employees, confirmed by like warehouse stock, and confirmed by a bunch of stuff. We did also see the online API update a while ago, so we're still kind of in this awkward limbo. We're just waiting to see whenever Best Buy does well anything next. So PlayStation 5 disc and digitals are looking still on the overdue side. And we've also, we still have been seeing Best Buys in store and stock. We've also been seeing, like, as I mentioned, employees confirming again stock, and we've been seeing people using the app glitch as well, still, like, sporadically. 
but it does kind of seem like the stock is actually looking very, very low. So just letting you guys all know, it hasn't been looking that big. It hasn't been looking that juicy. I kind of wish it was a little bit nicer, but at the end of the day, at least we uh, are still waiting for stock. So if you guys want to check online, use the app that you guys can be on the lookout for it. Although once again, I think the online for today and tomorrow it's not confirmed. I hate it because I hate like being like, well, at some point it'll drop eventually. But it is uh, bumping up the likelihood a lot. We have seen a lot of Best Buy Thursday and Friday restock. So once again, and same with all the other stuff we'll talk about through, we're just on this really awkward waiting game. Like there's been nothing new. And I, it's like, I feel like I'm in like a, a Groundhog's Day where I'm just making the same video. Because I mean, we still have been seeing people getting consoles and you know, going to Target and Best Buy and all this stuff. We have, it's like not like cap. It's not like, you know, whatever. It's just regional and weird. So like we just want better all around news than anything else on the smaller side. I'm sure you guys know. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Keep checking. We'll be waiting for the online drop usually around the 9 a.m. to around like the 2 p.m. range and the same thing too as well uh, for Xboxes we have been seeing them kind of sporadically showing it up throughout the stores themselves so keep on being on the lookout keep on being on the I guess awareness of it and go from there as well when it comes to other stuff Walmart Walmart usually does do a lot of Thursday drops we didn't see any website updates or big changes on the website or anything else so I think the likelihood of a drop today and tomorrow is pretty low although just just in case they want to work in a YOLO drop or just want to do a surprise drop be on the lookout either at 10 a.m. or 3 p.m. range once again, though, we've had a pretty quiet week, so it wouldn't surprise me too, too much. We didn't see too, too much at all floating around. So go from there. Now, as well for Amazon, we're probably not expecting too much as well from Amazon. We're just waiting for stock and looking at stocks. So we can kind of go from there too as well. Uh, just kind of, it's not too much on the overdue side. We're slowly going to get up there at this point. But if you guys always want to check, we always have the links down below, just in case you guys would like. Now, as well for GameStop, we still haven't seen much more updates. We never saw a tweet or a pro members reward or anything else as of yesterday. So unless they want to work in another YOLO drop, I, I still think at this point we we're kind of just maybe seeing Sony kind of building up stock. We kind of saw a lot more of the European build up too, as well. So we're watching for that stuff. So probably nothing crazy. We haven't seen any walk-ins. I think the walk-ins are pretty much done. Uh, Xbox is maybe for that on the GameStop side. Now, we also do have the PS Direct, which once again, kind of the same boat of Best Buy. We're just kind of this awkward, just weird, just waiting <laughs> type vibe. We did see the stock get loaded and the API also get updated for the PS Directs. So we haven't really seen too much more big movements with it. So we've just been closely and surely just been watching and waiting for stock with it too. So uh, we are on the overdue side, usually weekends like Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. So today and tomorrow, uh, usually a little bit more on the active sides or active day side. That's why we're a little bit more special and say Best Buy or Target. Uh, so we'll kind of have a, kind of similar news, I'd say, for tomorrow too as well. So you guys all know. But yeah, please, directs. We'll be watching. If you guys want to, follow the Twitter, subscribe. We'll make sure to put a community post or tweet out there if we do see some stuff with it. So, uh, yeah, kind of intriguing stuff to go be on the lookout for as well. Other various side stuff, too. We still haven't seen Ant Online do anything throughout the day for the PS5, PS5 Disc, or PS5 Digitals. So, as well, once again, be on the lookout for all of them in case you guys would like to. Uh, just in case. So, their bundles are kind of whatever. We did actually go and see Endorma go and do a PlayStation 5 bundle yesterday. So, you guys can kind of x that on out. Although, once again, it's not the best bundle. Like, it was kind of expensive. It was like an $800 bundle. But it did happen, and we did go and see it. So keep on being a lookout for that in case you guys would like. Good stuff with that. Uh, and as well, too, uh, we are still on the lookout still for the Gamefly side. They're just so, so overdue for the PS5 and Xbox side. So we'll be watching them a little bit more on the closer. When it comes to all the other various mid-tier places, such as the Sam's Club, middle-tier overdue for the PS5s. We have seen some pretty good Thursday night drops, especially if Walmart doesn't restack. So we'll watch for that. Uh, Newegg did go and have some nice little PS5s in their shuffles, too, both disc and digital. So just be on the lookout, too, as well, if you just want to see it for their day-to-day -day shuffles. Uh, Kroger's and all them, Fred Meyer Smith, we are on the overdue side for an online drop. But as well, we still have been seeing uh, kind of staggered reports of them showing up in the store. So keep on checking and seeing when it comes to stock, when it comes to stock movement. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, and for other little various things too as well. We still have been seeing a little bit on the occasional Meyer side for the walk-ins. We'll kind of see if there's another influx or like a higher amount of stock coming on in for this weekend. Usually weekends are usually pretty good when it comes to bigger stock and stock movements and all that type of stuff. So we're going to be watching that pretty closely. So I'll uh, keep on being a lookout for the BJ's wholesalers up on the East Coast side as we are kind of closely just waiting and seeing for more stock that has been trickled on in. Myers has still been a higher, bigger focus. And like I said, we saw on the big target and all that stuff side. 
I guess the staples when it comes to PC Richards, HEBs, and military walk-ins. We have not really been seeing too much more updates, sadly, and same thing too as well with some online. A lot of stuff's overdue, and we still have a big focus on Best Buy and Target because they are hoarding and waiting up for stock. Although, once again, this is kind of just a weird kind of <laughs> awkward day. Like, I wouldn't even be that surprised if we didn't see that much even today. Although, we do have some good and better potentials today and tomorrow. So, at least we have something to be on the lookout for. So also make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room down below, the Weeble and Coinbase down below, and everything else down below with the Twitter giveaway and stuff like that. And we'll see you guys all throughout today for more videos. Love you guys.